Hey everybody, today we're going to show a video of the Dalt technique using a big bubble. <coughs> we start off by making a paracentesis as close to the limbus there as possible, and then we inject some air bubbles into the anterior chamber. We trephinate uh, partial thickness into the cornea. And then here using a Fogla pin, we create a channel uh, for which we're going to uh, inject air to separate decimase membrane from the overlying stroma. So this step is particularly important. It's important to be uh, zoomed in and it's important to actually see the folds on decimase membrane or the posterior stroma um, as you advance the needle. Now once you've created a channel here we're using the Fogla catheter and advancing it along this the pre-made channel with the pin. And once we have gotten it pocket, we start our injection. Now here what you see is a partial uh, bubble that forms at the top of the picture there, and you see that the adjacent uh, anterior chamber bubbles are being pushed aside, letting us know that we're having a lamellar dissection. So advance the catheter here a little more, inject more air, and we see that that bubble gets larger and larger in the anterior chamber air bubbles are pushed to the side. And at the bottom portion of the picture you see that the decimase detachment hasn't fully uh, separated so we eject a little more air and notice that it is <coughs> completely within our trephinated mark. We perform a partial thickness uh, dissection here. Now in this gentleman he had significant apical scar and thinning, and so when we're performing this partial thickness dissection, we notice a little uh, perforation there. Luckily, decimase membrane wasn't perforated, and we just ejected viscoelastic. Uh, once that lamellar section is complete, uh, we're using Bogle scissors here to basically make a cruciate incision. Um, subsequently, we basically remove the four pie-shaped uh, stromal segments overlying decimal membrane. So once that's all done, what you see here is bare decimal membrane and the removed overlying cornea. Um, it's, all, it's important to irrigate the uh, cornea well to remove any viscoelastic prior to sewing in our donor graft. So here we have our donor graft and we start staining it with some tripan blue. Here we're using a bent 30 gauge uh, needle to cut the peripheral decimase membrane. And we're doing this in a circular fashion. We're going to do this all the way around 360 degrees. Uh, once that's done, you're able to grab one edge of decimate membrane and slowly peel across. Once the decimate membrane has been peeled across, uh, we use a Maricel sponge, as noted here, uh, to wipe away any residual decimate fragments that may be there. Use a Maricel sponge because you don't want fibers to get in the interface. We bring our donor graft in and then we suture it into place here using a 16 byte interrupted fashion. It's important to tie these sutures a little tighter than you normally would as they have a tendency to loosen up. And here is the final product. You can see an air bubble still in the chamber. Thanks for watching.